I love shimmer reverbs and long tail reverbs in general, but very often I want to put something before or after it to make things a little bit more interesting and make them fit uh, the mix I'm working on. A plugin generation, Mirko Russo, Clang Lab. I have already made a video where I have put uh, some nice effects after the Shimmer River, but in this case I have done something a little bit different, so let's take a listen to this electric guitar and then let's discuss it. Okay, in this case it is not a proper shimmer reverb uh, because I have created it sort of uh, using this micro shift from Sound Toys, uh, which is a kind of chorus, let's put it this way. That I used to create a thicker sound. Then the crystallizer, this granular effect. Okay, you can define it as a sort of a granular uh, reverse delay, sort of, and then a proper, an actual delay. This actually uh, prolongs the, uh, the tail of the notes. Then I make the tail uh, even longer with this universal audio real, real verb. In this way, with this plugin chain, so far I have created my um, shimmer-like reverb. Then the main part for this video is the tremolator. So while I was creating this tone, I have thought, well, uh, there are a few notes, but, but each of them has a long tail uh, with this kind of reverb. Um, so with this long tail, I can apply something to it to make things a little bit more interesting. So I have put this tremolator. But there is not only uh, this, a tremolator, and that's it. Uh, it is not steady, as you can hear, and as you maybe uh, have already seen, uh, there is uh, a process of automation, uh, mainly for depth, I, if I remember correctly, only for depth and rate. Uh, so they are constantly moving to, uh, to make each pause uh, different. As you can see here, there is this crazy editing for uh, the automation of this uh, parallel sand where there is um, where I have the tremolator. So this is the result. only uh, for the verse 
of this song, which is an, uh, a new song I'm working on and that will be released uh, really soon, in the next few months. The last stage in this processing is a compressor after the tremulator in the parallel sand, uh, where I have put all of these effects uh, 100%, um, roughly. This compressor has the sidechain with the same uh, electric guitar part, uh, dry, so um, this helps in let, letting emerge a little bit the dry part, but there is only a few dBs of compression there. Yeah, there's uh, a subtle difference, but um, I like it to uh, to have a little bit of control over the the wet uh, effect chain. So let's take a listen uh, again, maybe with the entire arrangement. Yeah, it was fun for me to edit this automation uh, for this tremolo uh, because there is a lot of variety uh, in each uh, of those pause uh, where the, the guitar stops playing but um, the tail is going on. I have created a different tempo and depth settings uh, with all of these going up and down uh, depending on what I have, uh, I have thought. I would create so uh, it has been really fun and the tremolo can be uh, a really nice toy to, to to play with and it in my opinion it affects a lot the the whole uh, effect chain in this case because otherwise you only have uh, a simple um, static shimmer reverb <laughs> And in my opinion, this nervousness that has been created with the tremolo and the continuing um, going up and down of these parameters is something really peculiar to this track. I hope I have inspired you a little bit with this little trick uh, to make something new in your own songs. Uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about it. Press the like button if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to support it. See you in the next video, bye.